Capricorn. What's up, my loves? With my little stuffy nose self. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Welcome to BMHP's Table Etiquettes, where the timing is always right. I know I've been MIA for, for the year, right? For this new year. But I'm back and whatnot. Everything in divine timing. It gives the energy time to settle you know, new storylines, all that type of stuff. But either way, let's go ahead and tap into your energy cap and see the message that Beloved has for you. Beloved, what's the message that you have for my Capricorns, please? What's the message that you have for my Capricorns? Wow, that's strong in my spirit. I only want you to love. I don't want nobody else. If someone only wants you to love Capricorn, right? They fucked up, though. They really messed up this connection, this relationship, what you guys could have been, all that type of stuff. They're saying that the grass ain't greener on the other side. So they had to go and find out the hard way that the grass isn't greener on the other side. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, <laughs> Justice, the King of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Four of Swords, the Star, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Odd Man Out is the, the Sun. You're not playing no games with this person, Capricorn, I see. Right? You know, this person feels like you have the whole world in your hands. Wow, as soon as I said that, I looked over and the Ace of Pentacles was literally there with the Two of Cups behind it. Right? So, with you, it's like they had the whole world in their hands too, right? Like anything was possible, right? But they fucked up. They Whatever they did, I feel like this person was taking this relationship for granted. It was, it was their own ego and pride that destroyed something that could have been beautiful. You ain't fucking with them. Right? Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You are so focused on yourself. You have zero tolerance for BS in your life at this point. It's like what you want in your life right now is like success and honesty, loyalty, um, a person you can trust, right? You refuse to like settle for less than your worth and less than what you deserve. And I feel like, Cap, with you being um, immovable, it's forcing this person to get their stuff together, right? Because I feel like it was this person, okay, they had great potential to be with you, right? To be your divine counterpart, right? But it seems like this person needed to grow their ass up a lot to meet you where you are mentally, emotionally, financially, right? For this person, it was all about them, what they wanted and how they wanted it and so on and so forth, right? They put themselves on a pedestal. Maybe you, being around you, this person gained a lot of self-confidence, right? <laughs> oh, wow. I heard this so loudly in my spirit because your daddy wasn't shit. It was like, it's it's like something off of a movie. Your daddy wasn't shit and your mama wasn't shit either. So this person came from a home where 
it may not have been a father figure present, right? This person could have like those childhood wounds and, you know, maybe you had to nurture this person, help this person grow or something. But this person was stubborn as all outdoors. It was, it was, you know, when you're in a relationship, you can't be selfish, right? A relationship is about a equal give and take. It's about reciprocity, right? And for men, a lot of times, men that really love them, their woman, it's about providing and protecting, producing, right? Um, helping your family to grow, helping you guys to move forward down a different path and go to, you know, a different level in this current life, right? I feel like this person wasn't ready for the task, hands down, right? Because for them, it was all about themselves. But they didn't realize the reason why their garden was so fruitful was because they were connected to you, their divine damn counterpart, right? They were connected to you. So as long, because as long as you like are in the picture things tend to grow for this person that's why alone this person isn't as strong as they are when they're with you and thinking that they the shit right but you are stronger alone like your garden like is fruitful regardless your life is fruitful regardless the things that that you bring into your life right with your mindset, the way you think, right? The way you move as a human being on the earth. All of those type of things, right? You're a powerhouse all alone, right? So having your divine counterpart part on your side was supposed to balance out the energy, right? Because when you are weak, they're strong. And when and when they're they're strong, right? Or when you're weak, they're strong, vice versa. You guys get what I'm saying, right? So this is why, you know, you were supposed to be connected or you were connected to your divine counterpart, right? But the person, man, you blew up their damn ego, Cap. Yeah, I'm blaming it on you. I'm going to tell you why. Because, man, they ain't never had nobody that made them feel the way you made them feel. That did the things that you were willing to do for them that brought the type of lifestyle that they weren't used to, that brought this spiritual aspect, this aspect of love, of care, of trust, of loyalty, of, you understand what I'm saying? They've never met someone like you. So when they left, when, when you guys parted from one another, it took a whole lot out of this person. Goddamn, okay? This person literally had to like, it's not the sunken place. It's it's for this particular reading to me it's like the dark night of the soul where this person was able to reflect, right? Reflect on the gift that God gave them and the way that they fucked up. Cuz I really do feel like this this connection here between you and this person was a gift. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to fail, right? It really wasn't. This was a, truly a gift. Like when you guys met, like that song, there's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Like there could have been a star that was bright as hell the night you met this person or something. It was like, it was like meant to be. But this person messed it up. And it's crazy because when you have a connection like this, it takes a whole lot to fuck it up because it's it's a divine partnership, right? You have God and the angels and everybody. It's like room for this connection. So you're pulling strings and, and moving obstacles and everything. But somehow this person messed it up, not paying attention to it, right? The whole thing is if they would have just focused on this connection focused on you it would have worked out so beautifully like you both would have had like a lot of 
abundance together, happiness, joy, peace, satisfaction, bomb, sex, like whatever you wanted was in this connection. But this person thought it was about them, right? Getting their cups filled. You know, nah, I know Capricorn gone. You know, whatever, right? But it was all about them. Now I feel like this person feels stupid. Now they got egg on their face because they're realizing what they lost. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. And here comes all of the bullshit that was being, this person was being protected from while in this connection towards them. Because it was really supposed to be like this for you two. Right? It was really supposed to be this. And I feel like this is why this son is the odd man out. Because this is what was guaranteed and promised to you both. Right? Um, Mr. Selfish. Mrs. Selfish. Fucked it up. Okay? And now look at the adversity that they're facing. Uh, maybe shit even had some damn adversities that you may have to face because of this person because now you know and I don't want to even say it like this but this is what it's seeming like you know when you have a divine connection I mean this was sent from heaven you know this person was crafted and created and, and got a mindset and different stuff that was created a certain way to fit and align perfectly with yours. So you come together like a, you know, a, a puzzle piece, right? So now it's like, okay, you're going to have another connection, but it won't be another one like this. So this is the reason why I feel like these energies are here because, okay, we have some uh, uh, somebody else for cap. But it ain't going to never be that same fit because this was like, this person was made for you. You were made for this person. But they fucked it up. Oh. So irritating. So yeah, you'll get a soulmate or something like that. But they weren't handcrafted to fit you. You understand what I'm saying? This person was handcrafted to fit you. I don't... They got distracted. I don't know what the hell they did. But it wasn't meant to go this way. Definitely wasn't. Okay. So, beloved, how do they feel about Capricorn? Huh. How do they feel about Capricorn now? Could be a Leo you dealing with. Oh, my goodness. I hope not. I hope not. Okay. Leos, I'm sorry. I love my Leos. But Leos will do some shit like that too. I had sex with your friend. Did, oh. Man, if they did something like that, Scorpio could have been a Scorpio too. I wish your family would stay out of our business. This person is adamant about your family staying out of their um, y'all business. Like, literally. And this person, I told you, handcrafted for you. Twin flame. That's why I say you'll get a soulmate. But it ain't going to be like this handcrafted just for you type stuff. This person off the chain. I left them alone. All I can think about is you. Now, let's talk about this for a minute. I had sex with your friend Leo. Scorpio. You know what I'm thinking? And this isn't for everybody, but this is for some of you. This person tried to get back at you. And the way they felt like they got back at you was having sex with your friend who always was around, who was always plotting and thinking and wanting to fuck this person anyways with their snaky self, right? So that friend was, uh, what would you call it? Was a tool, a hoe, but was a tool that was utilized to try to get back at you. But it didn't work because it only made this person feel worse. You, Your person is a fuck up. Hands down. I don't know what happened to them along this journey or what made them that this way. But they sure can fuck up a wet dream. And I'm sorry for cursing a lot. And this read, you know, I've been over there on TikTok. I do what I want to do over there. But your person is a... Uh, 
fucked up this whole situation. And it could have been something that was so beautiful. So I'm going to use my Twin Flames prepare for Union deck since uh, Twin Flames is here. And this is definitely a Twin Flame connection. Beloved, what's in this person's heart for Capricorn, please? Oh. Yeah. This is why they messed it up. I thought you were too good to be true. Didn't have no faith in God. Okay. I see you from a distance crushing it, which tells me they still got their eyes on you, Capricorn. Oh. Reiteration. I know you're my twin flame. Now they know for sure. Now they have that knowledge, that awakening. This person ain't going nowhere as a twin, right? They always be somewhere in your energy or you could feel them, all that. But in this season of this journey, they fucked it up, period. Okay, Cap. Either way, beloved, that's the message I have for you. I thank you guys so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.